We are proudly sponsored by Art in Time Monaco. Be sure to visit them for rare timepieces that will stand out from the crowd. Watches that are inspirational, creative, with high craftsmanship. Check out Art in Time. The link for the website is in the description section below this video. There's an old saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure. And this holds true in the increasingly popular sharing economy the younger generations are embracing. The second-hand luxury wave in particular is proving beneficial to a market that was once purposely designed with only a select few in mind. More specifically, the pre-owned luxury watch sector has opened the door to a rapidly growing opportunity that many, from watchmakers to collectors, and auction houses are benefiting from, even in the face of global crises. And research company Deloitte has found that one in three buyers are interested in picking up a pre-owned watch within the next 12 months. And that this trend owes little to price points and more to rarity and specific models, such as the Rolex Daytona, and Submariner models. With the more socially conscious millennials and older members of Gen Z uh, accumulating spending power and acquiring a taste for premium timepieces, the next generation of watch collectors no longer feels a stigma around buying previously owned watches. And according to Thomas Parazzi, head of watches at Philips Auctions in Asia, both brand new and pre-owned watches are performing exceptionally well. And he says, looking at the numbers provided by the Swiss Federation of Watches, the export numbers have increased, but not significantly. What has really exploded is the secondary market. Because to get a luxury watch, you have to create a profile in a brand system, or you have to wait a very long time. And today, collectors don't want to wait and they go straight to the second-hand market to acquire a piece immediately, even if there's a surcharge to pay. And indeed, there were monumental moves in horology in the past 12 months, with Philips recording a record year, having sold every single lot they, they had to offer, including a platinum Patek Philippe, Blue Royale and a Rolex Daytona chronograph in yellow gold with total sales up by 40 million US dollars on what they achieved from watches in 2020. Watchmakers, small and large, are responding to this new consumer trend by embracing it. The likes of Rolex, Richard Mille and Omega are welcoming the second-hand sector by offering services such as authenticity guarantees, second-hand pop-ups, and even starting their own pre-owned selling platforms. It's given unattainable and unknown brands the chance to introduce themselves to a wider variety of buyers, many of whom are getting their first taste of luxury timepieces. And the CEO of Omega, said, we support the vintage market by allowing owners of watches over 30 years old to obtain a certificate of authenticity issued by our experienced watchmakers based on a thorough examination of the watch as well as our records. And the Swiss luxury watch brand is among those that collectors especially look for, alongside, of course, Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, and Rolex, to name a few. And Rolex, one of the brands that experienced a shortage due to production shutdowns during the height of the global pandemic in 2020, is still in high demand, and its second-hand Daytona and Submariner models are skyrocketing in price as the waiting list grows and production volumes shrink. In China and Hong Kong, Singapore, 
pre-owned watches are now widely accepted as sound investments. Uh, half the watches that Philips Auctions have offered globally have been bought in Asia, with collectors from Hong Kong, Taiwan and the Greater China. The most enthusiastic buyers are from there. That's also paved the way for white glove pre-owned watch retailers to enter key markets. And when the director of trading at Watchbox brought the pre-owned timepiece retailer to Hong Kong, they opened a posh lounge at Central to entertain their clients, a deviation from their digital first practices in the United States. They say they understood that the market was different. So for the first two to three years, they did not have a single client in Hong Kong without meeting them face to face. And it looks time for tr traditional Asian watch collectors to trust online platforms such as Watchbox. As there was both a preference for brand new watches and the need to establish trust between a source and a buyer. But what was once a week or two week conversation and transaction, including sit downs over whiskey or coffee, has been whittled down to mere days handled through their website or even over WhatsApp. And globally, it's been such an incredible couple of years. This year, um, they're set to generate around 300 million US dollars in revenue. And they've just surpassed the one billion dollar revenue mark since the launch of Watchbox uh, four years ago. They've come far from when they had a couple of partners and began trading watches from a basement, taking cues from its practice in Hong Kong and Singapore. The retailer now looks to open collectors' lounges in the United States, Europe and the Middle East. And aside from trading, Watchbox has now taken over the majority position in a watch brand called De Bethune. This is not to say that the online pre-owned watch market is entirely new. Nearly two, dec ago, two decades ago, online watch retailer Chrono24 was a pioneer, digitizing the historically offline luxury watch industry and growing to become one of the world's largest luxury watch marketplaces with 500,000 unique visitors per day, 3,000 retail dealers and 30,000 private sellers. And as it stands, it lists half a million luxury watches at any given time. That's according to the head of Corona24 in Asia. Um, they say, as originators of the digital marketplace concept within the luxury watch world, they have built a platform that not only supports and encourages evolving consumer behavior, but also provides invaluable proof of concept to an industry that has traditionally shield, uh, shed away from disruption. So having said this, the innovators at Corona24 also plan to use a secured $118 million uh, Series C investment to accelerate their growth and improve the user experience to capitalize on the pre-owned luxury watch market. And the pre-owned market can offer valuable insight into pricing and demand. Some brands such as Porsche Design and uh, Louis Monet have opened their own selling platforms on Corner24. And there's, uh, they have estimated that the pandemic has fast forwarded their business and the online behavior of consumers by five years. And then we get to Watchfinder & Co, another pioneering premium pre-owned watch retailer. Um, banks on its experience in dealing with uh, these timepieces, supplemented by its certified servicing of pieces from Panerai, Omega, IWC, Jega Le Couture, 
Cartier, and Vacheron Constantin. With nearly 15 years of experience in the industry, Watchmaker & Co. is expanding its offerings by now providing video content on watchmaking and blog articles to educate its clientele, and establishing physical boutiques around the world to complement its online business. And in 2018, the company was acquired by Swiss luxury go uh, goods group Richemont, the holding company that operates brands like Cartier, uh, Lange, and Piaget, all further proof that big business has recognized the impact of the second-hand market. So these success stories are a mere snapshot of the businesses benefiting from this new world of pre-owned watch trading, where sellers can become buyers and vice versa. And clients are set on educating themselves and becoming even more discerning. The pandemic has only accelerated growth in this market, and there are surely more exciting developments to come among brands, businesses, and buyers. What do you think about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this video. And please do consider subscribing to Lux Report. Click on the bell icon, click to receive all notifications. And we'll keep you informed on all the latest happenings in the watch world.